So I have been given a box, like a huge moving box full of albums like this by my mom. <laughs> and the task is to scrapbook the important photos out of here and then um, the rest I need to put in some kind of an album so that they're archival safe. So I'm going through these photos and they're from like, they're a mess like this. They're not like all put together but they're from when my mom was born until she graduated high school and got married. Actually, it looks like until she had a baby, her first baby. But um, there's, just, it, there's just a ton of pictures in here and a lot of memorabilia and stuff like that. So I have a huge task ahead of me. And I wanted to start with these two photos. And these are two of her graduation photos. Isn't she pretty? And I'm going to scrapbook them using an old kit that I have had for several years called Stella and Rose by My Mind's Eye. And I've just got bits and pieces of it. I've got a couple of embellishments, some stickers and buttons and stuff, and like these little bits and pieces, which is actually the name of it, bits and pieces, <laughs> and some paper. So I'm just going to go through here and see what I have and scrapbook these two photos. All right, thank you so much, guys. I will put you on fast forward. Okay, everyone, I'm testing a new microphone that I just got, and it's got one of those pop filters, so um, y'all will have to let me know what you think of it. So I am going through my papers, as always, and looking for a background, and I found one right here, this blue one. I'm just looking to see if there's anything better, but I really like that blue one, and I think that's the one I'm going to go with. So I have this little diploma. It's like a little miniature diploma, and it's laminated, and it was in my mom's book. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on the page with the photos. And I'm just looking through the embellishments that I have. They're limited, so I didn't have a huge choice. Um but I'm looking through them just to see. And I do have this sticker sheet and there's like a little banner on one of them. And I'm just writing her name, her maiden name on there. And then there's a journaling spot sticker down on the bottom and I'm just gonna write the journaling there, which is basically just her maiden name and what year it was and that it was her senior photo. And I think I might've put what high school she went to. So now I'm going to adhere the photos directly to the scrapbook pa uh, paper and I'm not too worried about like pulling them up because the adhesive that I used, you can pull up the photos if you need to. And I, I just put a tiny bit on the photos because I'm going to use photo corners and I'm using gold ones, which are my favorite because I love gold. I try to use photo corners on all of my mom's vintage photos uh, just because I don't like to use a lot of adhesive on the back and I want to make sure that if I ever need to pull it up for any reason like to scan it for anybody or you know just any reason that I'll be able to pull it up easily. So now I'm trying to decide what I want to do for embellishments and where I want to put this little miniature diploma. And I'm looking through my last month's kit from Noelle Mignon, and that's all the stuff that I have left over. It's a lot of stuff. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure that I will ever be able to finish one of those kits in one month because it's just so much stuff. So I took out a vellum sticker that says, I treasure you. And I also took out some gold stickers, which I believe are from Maggie Holmes, but I'm not positive, so don't quote me. And I really wanted to use this I Treasure You sticker, but it ends up not making it onto this layout because I just couldn't find the right place for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put down my journaling sticker and my little banner sticker. And it's gonna move around a couple times before the page is done. And now I'm looking through those gold Maggie Holm stickers. And they're a little difficult to use because they come in really weird shapes. Like they surround a box, you know, like a like a rectangle or something, and they're staggered. So there's this circle, starburst, starburst circle uh, sticker <laughs> on on one of the sticker sheets, and I'm gonna put that 
underneath my journaling spot just to give it a little bit of gold and it gives it a little punch. So you can see what I mean by the gold stickers, the way that they're shaped there. So it works good around something that's rectangular. Boy, I'm speaking well today. <laughs> and I'm not going to do a whole lot of embellishing because I think with these vintage photos, you don't really need a whole lot of embellishments because it's just the photo is the main part of the page and everything else is just kind of you know like sprinkles on top of the icing and so I'm just gonna sprinkle a few things around the page and then I'll be done um, I have this flower that I made out of felt and it's called the my favorite things hybrid camellia flower and I've had a couple people ask me how I made the flowers and so I did a video showing you how to make them and I'm gonna upload that in the next couple days so here's a close-up isn't that a pretty flower? I love working with felt. And then here is a photo of the layout. And because this was so short and simple, I have another one to share with you. And I just put it here on the end of this video. And this is my mom's graduation photo. And as you can see, I'm just using photo corners and then I'm gonna use a teeny tiny bit of adhesive on the back of the picture just to hold it in place and this photo takes up so much space on the page that there's not a lot of room for embellishment so it's going to be a really simple page as well I'm getting my gold thickers out because I know that I wanted to use gold because I use gold photo corners so I'm just going through the gold thickers to see which ones I want to use for my title and I chose these and they're all capital which I like I really really like this font the thickers don't stick well Oh, I'm showing you the flower um, the thickers don't stick well unless you add extra adhesive but I really love the font so I'm gonna go ahead and put oops sorry about that I'm gonna go ahead and put my title down and it is why can't I remember what the title is Oh, class, <laughs> class of 1964. That's what it is. And as you're going to see, I'm going to add extra adhesive to the back, but I'm going to spare you having to watch me do that. And I cut it out so that it, you can just see it done. It should cut out here. There we go. And now it's all done. <laughs> so I'm just going to put those stickers away. And then I just need one or two things just to, you know, as a final touch and I have to use these flowers because I'm in love with them and I'm using them on everything right now and then I have some stickers that actually go with this collection and I think that one says happy or so happy so I'm gonna put that down there on the bottom underneath that flower and it hangs off the page just a teeny bit but that's okay cuz I'm just gonna cut it off with my scissors and then I've got one little gold sticker that I'm going to put on the left hand side of the page over by the title. And I can't see what it says. It's probably something like remember or memories or something like that. And then I've got a gold heart sticker that I'm going to put in the bottom right hand corner where the cluster is. And that is the page. So there is a photo at the end. Thanks for watching, guys. I will be back with more. This is going to be an ongoing project, so you'll see more if you want to. And I will talk to you later. Have a great day.